hello friends welcome back to another video on this channel in today's video i will show you my new creation it is a door that can detect when it is opened and closed basically the way it works is i have the computer here which is connected via this usb cable it is connected to this arduino nano the arduino nano is then connected to an ultrasonic distance sensor basically when i open or close the door so as you can see when i open the door the screen switches when i close it again the screen switches back I will show, so as you can see there when the door is open the screen switches and when it is closed it switches back to the original program basically the way it works is whenever there is something which is close to the ultrasonic distance sensor the screen is switched so thus uh, it detects that there is a uh, program uh, sorry there is something in front of it it sends it to the Arduino the Arduino sends it via the USB cable to the computer the computer here then has a Python program running it's a very simple python program just of 18 lines basically it uh, detects when there is serial coming into the computer so it sees the, uh, the serial which is uh, coming on com4 then it uh, reads the data from the serial it will convert the data from byte to integer and then if the integer is 48 which is sent by the arduino it will press a hotkey combination alt tab basically in windows if you press alt and tab together as you can see it will switch to the other open window so it will place alt tab and if the key combination is 57 it will press alt tab now basically 48 is when the door is open and 57 is when it is closed so the way the computer can detect that is by using the arduino program now if i open up the arduino code here as you can see this is the code which is running on the arduino now it might seem much more complicated however it's actually really simple so first of all here we have the uh, pin numbers for your trigger pin and echo pin for the uh, your ultrasonic distance sensor so this you have to set on your uh, uh, like where you have plugged them in so i have them in 12 and 11 then these are all just this is your duration this is your integer distance this is the distance which is sensed by the are detected by the ultrasonic distance sensor then we are just setting the pin modes as uh, for outputs now pin 13 is your inbuilt led on the arduino nano this is just for seeing whether the python code is working this is for debugging purposes have i have not commented it out as it is still fairly useful if the python program is not working for some reason then over here we are just setting this this is the entire part where we are calculating the distance for the with the distance which is coming in through the sensor until here so we are here we are you can either sprint the distance directly onto serial this is again for debugging to make sure that your sensor is working you can uncomment these two by removing the sla the, the double slashes on la these uh, these two lines 26 and 27 then but however make sure to comment out this entire part then this is the part which sends the signal to the python program now after after that it we are setting a sensor value to digital read the pin number 13 now we are saying if the distance is less than 20 20 centimeters then we will set the and if the sensor value is zero that is the inbuilt led is turned off we will serial print in 49 and set the inbuilt led high and we'll wait for a second then if the led pin is high already like here so this is when the door is closed the sensor value should be zero and the you have to then when it is opened once it detects that spike it will set the digital pin to high and uh, so that means that the door is now open now if the digital pin is high and the door is open and you close it again it will serial print in 50 and it will digital write the 13 as low so the led will be turned off and it resets back to this this command which means the door is closed now and again we are setting a one mil one second delay otherwise because if there is no delays here basically it will keep so even for the little very little time you have the door which swings past it will still record that as multiple presses and it will most of the times it doesn't work properly as it records both at the same time very fast so it usually ends up just coming back to the same one at many times before anyways that is the code i will leave both the python code as well as the arduino code down in the description as always you can check that out if you like this video please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and you might also leave comments down below for future ideas thank you